Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to part two of Countering Morgesh. In part one, we talked about the context behind having a new hero released to a video game. We talked about a few things of what the design process is, what kind of the thought, the thinking is behind balancing a hero. Now, in this part, we're just going to talk about more of the actual counter picking with uh, with heroes and also uh, entire team composition design because she is so focused on early and mid game domination. Well, you got to play it safe with your overall team comp. So this video here is talking about the hero picks that you that will work really well against Morgesh. Now, ladies and gentlemen, how do you do that? How do you change what you do? How do you change uh, the cards that you use? That's what this post here is about. So. I tried to see who this person was. It doesn't look like it's anybody in particular. Huge, huge shout out to I'm Just That Lucky uh, with this fabulous post here that is really quite spot on. Uh, there's a few things that I that, 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 that I would change personally here in this post here, but um, fantastic job. I'm Just That Lucky. Huge shout out to him because basically I'm just kind of using this very nicely laid out and I thought this was a fantastic showcase of just our community trying to be helpful and putting their own um, two cents into the mix so guys there are three things you need to know I'm just that lucky thank you very well done here she has the range of a mute vocalist so it's not much she really has to get fairly close she has to get close enough for CC to get to get fairly you know to 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 she has to get into CC range pretty easy, like a, you know, a howitzer mine or something like that. Really not too hard for howitzer to take a few steps towards her, place that mine, and boom, she, he can uh, put it on her, on his terms. She can be CC'd easily. Deck remains, know what's up. She can be CC'd easily. Honor the pure and quenching scales make more Gesh's poison and ultimate barely hurt. We're going to get into cards later as we go through each cards and why do I think they are fantastic, but... There are some pretty strong picks. Now to counter pick Morgesh. Rule, hard CC supports and laners do the trick. Hard CC, it works well because she is a high value target. You need to focus her down, eliminate her right away before she does her mark, her hive, another mark, some basic attacks into her ultimate. You can't let her do that. You can't let her do that. Or you can't let her use the damage from her team that kind of picks away at people and then she just kind of runs up mark hive alt boom there the, and there's the number advantage you can't let her do that so you got to focus her down with cc or just kind of a fantastic burst assassin who knows and just take her out that is a fantastic rule here that really works quite well with her supports that torture her with their kit uh triple a decker she tortures everyone basically that two second well at, at the end there almost two seconds stun i do believe um is fantastic if you land if you can land a wrench you can land that stun ball put Marga morgesh in a timeout with the alt you need to zone her away and enjoy decker very very strong she's just very strong in general she is that hard cc support she really is so no there's really no question about it why she um, is great against Morgesh. Now, Muriel. Muriel is fantastic as well. Her shields absorb about 70% of Morgesh's damage. Um, and you know what? That is fantastic. You see that, uh, you know, you see that that some, that some an ally has gotten that mark. And the Hive put that shield on him. And it'll really kind of soak up some stuff. And it's pretty obvious when Morgesh is going to use her ult. It really is. She only is going to use it when you're, when when her target is below 50% health with a mark with a hive. So you're like, okay, get the ultimate ready. And once you see once you see that big, bleh, once you see that come up, boom, you activate the shield and boom, there's her ultimate gone. So Muriel, guys, she is fantastic. The shields have been not performing overly well generally in the community's consensus as of late but those shields do work against Morgesh because it's basically just eliminating the damage from her abilities 
Steel. Uh, he, he's saying Steel as A. Personally, I would put Narbash uh, above Steel. But if you can do it well, I think Steel would maybe beat out Narbash. He would be rough at the start. You have to use your shield to stop her poison grenade. And once you're level 5, that's when the fun starts. Boom! You go in with your ultimate. Obviously, that totally disrupts anything she does. That that base, like, It's a stun, right? And, and a knockoff. And then you can use your... Uh, charge to kind of hit her in the right direction and then you've set up you set your team up for success to take her out obviously that is fantastic now narbash can kind of do the same thing uh narbash his heals will even out her poison early game so great um great support if that uh if it's fairly obvious that the morgash is going to be in the off lane late game stuns and assassin narbash alts will guarantee she's useless in a team fight you get that stun on her if she's kind of trying to be tricky, you know, because she has to get close to you. You can use that thunk on her, run up to her, use your ult, and boom, she's stuck there. Unless she has a blink, of course. But hopefully your team has used that um, that thunk's stun to really take her out. Narbash, I feel like maybe he's uh, he, he, he's he's one up on steel. But if you, nail, if you nail good steel play, I think he will actually be out Narbash. Now, he's saying Richter as a B. But personally, I would put Richter as quadruple A. He would be the best pick, personally, because you land that pull, she's dead. You alter at any time, ideally, she's dead. You silence and slow her um, at the appropriate time, she's dead. But if you miss everything, you are dead. <laughs> so high risk, high reward. Richter, personally, I would... I would love Richter because he has some great cards as well that can help out against uh, against her with your team as well. So Richter, uh, he is personally my favorite just because A, he's my favorite, but B, uh, that pull is a stun in itself. Her His his ult is a stun and a root, and his silence is a silence and a slow. Like Richter, he's just a badass. He's so undervalued uh, just because the skill cap is through the roof. Now. Some good laner counter picks here. Triple A, Bellica. Obviously, Bellica, she's the anti-caster. And Morika, she's a caster. If she can't get close, she can't do much. You drone for that mana regen. You knock her up. You damage her. And then your ult, Kaboomy. She's dead. So, Honor the Pure makes you her direct counter if you put it on Bellica for a kind of a pseudo, you know, support Bellica. Or I, I can't imagine what the what Morgash could really do that much against a well played Bellica that is keeping her at bay, you know, and just kind of whittling down her mana, getting her to use her stuff. Boom, alt, honor the pure, fantastic, fantastic. Now this is a very interesting. Uh, this is a very interesting thing that actually I saw today when I was playing the Fey. Um, just hear me out on this one. Fey can control the fight. She can slow damage and keep Morgash moving like honey and away from your teammates. Now. The Fae, if you can land her long-range harass, fantastic. Again, Morgesh does have does have her 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 health regen right, but if you can just keep on nailing that long-range harass, plus whenever she's trying to use her her swarm, you just boom bramble patch, and then she's like she kind of rooted and stuck like that. It's really 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 interesting. Maybe I definitely wouldn't put the Fey as a double A, but the Fey's range would be what you're trying to use utilize against Morgesh. Now, even though I think the Fey's the gadget would be a little bit better than the Fey, you would have to be really careful with any of these. Um, she, you know, you're gonna have to harass her with the mines and slows and your alts. But if you're the one that if your gadget likes to stand in their own alt, um, Morgash really doesn't care. Morgash really doesn't share, doesn't care. The damage is still going to be done to you, and she's still going to just ult you. So you're going to have to do the long range harass, just like the Fey. But it's it, it's it's going to be really tough. A really well played gadget, I think, may be able to beat out the Fey. But a truly exceptional Fey probably beats out gadget. We have a Howitzer, probably not too great later on, but his zone control can keep her bounce back and eating rockets to the face. I definitely agree with this one. You're gonna have to really, you're really gonna have to focus on that long range harass. Um, absolutely. So Aurora here, 
Aurora's a monster. Like, that CC, if she can get it off, there's a reason why she was so disruptive to the meta. There's a reason. Uh, she's a monster. If that CC is applied. But, she's easily countered now. Again, as the community has learned, as the community has dealt with her, she's a gamble. She's a gamble. I think she's not a direct counter pick, like, in the lane. But just in general, overall, Aurora is probably actually a pretty good pick. Um, is in general. Now, Iggy gets deleted by her. I can absolutely see that. Absolutely. And Gideon escapes, but still gets deleted by her. So, again, those are some of the great laner heroes. Now, ADC counterpicks. You're thinking, how can you get a ranger in an ADC to counterpick her? Grim. You can shield her mark. You can shield her hive. More importantly, you can shield her ultimate. You can bounce her away. You can laugh as you three-shot her late game while she is slowed and running away. Grim, baby. Grim, guys. He's so underrated because of his high skill cap. His incredibly high skill cap and having the right build for him. So, Grim is absolutely fantastic. Now, there is somebody else here that uh, he, he, doesn't, he, he doesn't mention. Yin. Yin can hit back her hive. And uh, while that is a gigantic source of her damage you're gonna have to just focus on hitting back her hive so that her mark and her hive really don't synergize well and uh, there's nothing you can do about her hive or about her mark but again you just you're gonna have to keep your distance it's a morgesh that's just how she is now there are some jungle counter picks crunch ab so freaking lootly absolutely delete her morgesh has no has no movement besides her swarm so crutch very easily stay on top of her if he gets a fantastic um if he gets a fantastic positional advantage if if he can gank her without using his forward crunch she might use her swarm but crunch there's the slow you can land the uppercut for the stun you can go you can go right into a forward crunch to stay with her crunch fantastic fan freaking fantastic crunch is great now there's also rampage because his ultimate pff, you don't care if you're poisoned <laughs> well poisoned uh but by your hive you don't care because you just use your ultimate and boom um you know you just regenerate that health and you're done now he says that you must build a decent amount of health remember that his ultimate gives him a crap ton of health literally a crap ton of health so in the math department on Rampage, as long as you're always using your ultimate, just go ability armor. Just go, just just armor. Just basic and ability armor and you're absolutely fantastic on the math side of things. Um, Rampage definitely really likes a little bit of armor to really help that out. So Rampage, fantastic. Now Chimera, I think he was actually a little bit better here i think all of the jungle picks i mean if you had to rank them i suppose you'd rank them like this but chimera is absolutely fantastic i would definitely definitely agree he's good early on against her but you but if you get caught by her first you're deleted his stacks keep her poison at bay and if you do enough damage bye bye now obviously he can a sustain well over time building up his stacks but also she has no besides a um besides a blink if you can get if, if if you do the chimera combo on her and just kind of delete her right, all, all all together she's he, he's fantastic no matter if she uses her swarm he has his leap he can still stake right onto you so fantastic idea there now everyone else is either fair game so there's lots of people here that we didn't really mention or complete garbage and she, a mortgage is very strong she has been designed i'm pretty sure i heard from the developer stream she is designed ladies and gentlemen to be a early game menace she's designed to be a incredible lane bully and then in the mid lane be a fantastic group together in small skirmishes or 5v5 and dominate late game she falls off the adcs are doing are doing ton, too much damage for her to get close she it's right she falls off there she's designed to be a menace in the early game so when you're talking about team composition maybe try to to have a very safe early game team composition maybe you are late game scaling so that you can just stay safe and just kind of just wait her oh don't let her get that advantage just farm safely 
you know, and just kind of wait to the wait to the late game where she falls off. That is definitely going to be a thing for her. That concludes part two of our countering Morgesh series. In this video, obviously, guys, we talked about all of the all of the specific heroes that you can use to counter counter Morgesh. Uh, I was I was going to say Bellica because she's just a really good counter to her. And of course, then the more bigger team composition strategy that you can use. Obviously, you can, you know, choose to pick a composition that's very safe in the early game to withstand that pressure that she's going to put and just kind of wait till the late game where you can just completely dominate. So guys, there you go. Please let me know down in the comments what you guys think about these heroes. What do you think uh, in, in the ranking? Is there any people, is there any heroes that I've completely missed? Let me know down in the comments below. Please like this video if you like it, dislike it if you, if you dislike it, share it to the community, and of course guys, subscribe. If you guys like this content, found it useful, please subscribe so I can do it for you in the future. Till next time, like always, stay optimistic and positive.